One thing that bores the human race is Mondays. But Mondays also bring joy with heroes in the shadows, baby. Welcome to episode six, and today we have a big one. An award-winning series held in high regard and compared to the likes of Game of Thrones and Lord of the Rings. Monstrous. Let's get into it. Monstrous is a silk punk fantasy series that has no end in sight. Let's see if we can raise awareness and get this adapted to the big screen. Set in an alternate matriarchal 1900s Asia is a richly imagined world of art deco inflected steampunk. Monstrous tells the story of a teenage girl who is struggling to survive the trauma of war and who shares a mysterious psychic link with a monster of tremendous power, a connection that will transform them both and make them the target of both human and otherworldly powers. The series centers around Micah Halfwolf, a teenage girl who shares a mysterious psychic link with a powerful monster. The background to this story is a war between the Arcanics, magical creatures who sometimes could pass for human, and the Kumea, an order of sorceresses who consume Arcanics to fuel their power. Micah is an Arcanic who looks human, and she is set on avenging her dead mother. Micah's left arm has been severed, and a demon occasionally emerges from the stub. Okay? So that's just that just gives you the picture of how she is in your mind, you know? Now, as far as the series goes, this series has been running for a while and it has about I think 30 issues. You know, and for a series to have just 30 issues and won 12 awards out of the I want to say 18 to 20 that they've been nominated for is incredible. I came across this series last week while doing deep research because I wanted to give you guys something different this time. You know, I wanted to go to the super deep fantasy, you know, not necessarily just the superheroes and everything that I usually do on the episodes. Monstrous comes from Image Comics. Now, that's very different than the lineup that Image Comics normally has, but... Honestly, I'm not disappointed. I spent the last week trying to dive deep and really go against the grain on what I normally do. You know, instead of looking for heroes and villains of the typical type, you know, I actually found this 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 dark, twisted fantasy. Like, thanks, Kanye. Um, but I, I I honestly have to say it's a it's a diamond in the rough. And I've ordered a couple copies from Amazon, which you guys can also do too. It's it's on Amazon. All you have to do is type in monstrous. Matter of fact, I'll just leave the link below so you could all check it out. But it's a pretty cool series, and for it to be so revered that it is, like you know, with this fantasy, like it's compared to Game of Thrones and Lord of the Rings, I have to check this out, you know. So I just can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it too. And just also, if you ever do check check out any of these graphic novels and comic books that I talk about on the channel. Feel free to drop a comment below and let me know what you think of the series as for yourself, you know? I give a brief introduction, but I want you guys to really check it out for yourselves. And if you ever like something that I report on, let me know because uh, trust me, that makes all of this worth it. All right, so feel free to drop a like and of course, you know, we'll be back next Monday with another episode of Heroes in the Shadows. Take care everybody. <laughs>